Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a GIF using screen caps. And I I used to make GIFs using, I used to screen cap using KM Player, but then it stopped working on me. And then I tried using VLC Player, and then that was just, that was not going to work. So then I found a new way, and it's using the um, DVD Video Soft, um, DVD Video Soft Free Studio. And it looks like this. And basically, you just go onto a website. I'll put a link in the description. And you can just download it. And if you download the whole thing, you can get a bunch of like this stuff and everything. So basically, to make the screen caps, you click on photo and images. And then you click on the second one that says free video to JPEG. And after you click on that a window, like this one will come up right here and then basically you just click on add files and then you pick the video that you want to that you want to make the JF from and basically this way it takes a little longer because it makes it screen caps the whole video it's not like a cam player where you can like select the part which is kind of like a downside but it still makes really good screen caps and then you just click on add files And then, see, you pick the video that you want to make it from, just click open, and then you have like a choice of how to extract it, and I tested this out a few times, and it seems like the best one is to click on every, and then two frames, and then F, you wait for it to load like that, and it'll come up to the top of the thing, and you just click on convert, and I already made one like that but I just couldn't convert it takes me about five minutes I think and then after that you just like open it will it will export to like a folder and stuff and then you just open Photoshop see I already I was already making one see two okay but now I want to show you how to do it all over again so then to, to actually get the the screen caps into Photoshop you go to scripts then you go to load files into stack and then a window will pop up and you click on browse and then just go to the folder that um, it exports to and usually it exports to like the pictures folders in the, in the library thing see and it says free video to jpeg converter and then here's the video well here's a video that I converted to and then you see it's a really big, has a bunch of stuff in it. And you just like pick whatever you want. Let's see. Maybe I'll get that one of Lily and Zane. Or that one of Zane, make it easier. And then you just click on that, the, f the first picture that you want, and then hold on the shift button. Or you can click on the control button just click on individually but this is just faster and then click on the last picture that you want to do and then click OK and then you wait for it to load into like this box up here and that shouldn't take too long but obviously the more pictures you have and you see it loads everything in there and you click on OK and then you wait for that to load and you have to wait for the layers on the right hand side to load so you just be patient with that it shouldn't take too long but just gotta wait for that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pause this for a second. Okay, and then once all the layers are loaded, it should look like this. But now you have to go back to the timeline. You see how there's only one thing right there? So you click on the little box right here and with like the arrow, and then you click on make frames from layers and then now the timeline should just like how it would for a regular thing and then now you have to set the timing and you can set it at the regular like what you want for like js like usually i put it at point 0.1 but it seems like it work better if you like do it at 0 0.08 or 0 0.7 and um, there's like well, screen cap is always different kind of and then you can like add PSDs and everything like you would usually.
It's basically the same as a GAF, it just takes a little bit longer. But, you know. And to add a PSD, basically, you want to make sure that you're clicking the last layer in the thing on the right. And you're clicked on the first frame. And then you click back onto the GAF that you're making, and then you drag the PSD out from the, the tab thing. And then into like the workspace and then it should look like this and you click on the folder that it's in and then you just drag it over and wait for that to load and you see how it changes the color it can like change the opacity and stuff because sometimes the PC is a little bit too bright Wait, let me pause it so I can get this together. Okay, so I didn't really do much. I just like cropped it, add, added some PSDs, and then like like enhanced like the purple in the background, but that's basically it. And then I had to like adjust the amount of colors in it because of the size requirements for Tumblr. But that's basically it, and this is what it turned out to be like. So now I'm just gonna save it and then that is basically how to make a GIF using screen caps and after I save this I'm going to pause this and put it on Tumblr to let you see what it looks like so one second okay so scratch what I said about making it to be like 0 0.06 or something because when I was putting on upload right here it looked faster than I wanted it to be so I had to go back and change it to like 0 0.12 so that makes it look normal so it seems like screen caps are be like 0 0.12 okay so one second I want to finish uploading this I had to add tags to it so one second okay so here's what it looks like on my blog and then here's what it looks like on the dashboard so yeah basically it looks, doesn't look, really look any different from what it would be like if you like go to like the um, make video frame to like layers and stuff so yeah hope this is helpful and follow me on tumblr fthingmallet dot tumblr dot com yeah that was shame with the promo but whatever okay, okay i hope this is helpful in some way Okay, bye. Because K and player kind of stinks now. Okay, bye.